I must say, that was quite impressive. If you're that good of a detective, I can only imagine what sort of midwife you made. Okay, this is uh, 13 years overdue, but here goes. I know that you think that I didn't show up the night I was supposed to meet you at the carnival, but the truth is, I did. We were standing at the end of the pier. We were wearing a blue, thin striped baby doll dress, Doc Martin sandals, black. You had a row of red butterfly clips in your hair, short jean jacket, and the right pocket was ripped because you always used to shove your fist in there when you got nervous. You're pacing back and forth that night. You waited around almost an hour before you walked away. Uh, these are our tickets to the carnival. I saved them. I was so nervous, I choked. And you know what? That hardly ever happens to me. But the truth is, Abigail, I think I liked you too much. And somewhere in the back of my head, I knew what that night would mean and even how my life could be different now if I hadn't let you walk away. But this is a different moment, and, and it's a chance to make a different choice. And you're really amazing, and I know we can't go back in time, but I do wish that there was some way that I could... I just can't go. Thinking, and if there's anything that comes to mind, I'll let you know. <laughs> that was really nice. Pretty much perfect. Yeah. Pretty much perfect. So where do we go from here? <laughs>